Well, it's a bit of an off topic video and it's also a repair video. This is the item. That's a bit dirty. And there is the giveaway as to what it is. If anyone knows what a CG2000 is. And the other clue is we have power, control, and uh, RF input on this end. And we have an insulated output this end. So, have a look inside. This is what the unit looks like. It is a load of relays, a whole load of inductors, and a whole load of capacitors, and the microcontroller controlling it. So, a bit of a tear down. That's a massive tear down because. Uh, all I'm going to do is dismantle it so uh, power and data connector out of the way it's a bit mucky and messy because it's obviously this goes out in the, out in the outside world so you can see it's all sealed with a form of silicon rubber the RF input off this is the unearth, unearth bolt. To ground the output and ground the input. You can also put a counterpoise on it of a sort of quarter length radial to help with the matching. This is where the end fed wire goes. I'll do too much here because the cases are broken so I'm going to leave that on there and see the state of the board or the box sorry sort of critters are living on this so. oh, that's not going to come out I'll leave it I don't think I'll only reuse that rusty bit of metal I can go in the I can go in the sit in the rubbish bin along with more dirt come off it. Oops, don't throw away the screws, do we? No, nothing in there. So an 80 89 C51. You see a D8255 74HC373. UL 2003. Oh, that is it's a Darlington driver. HC 24, HC 4040, um, 324. It's a quad, quad op amp. 7805 regulator. But you will see that there are signs. Of corrosion in places. So I think some of the joints will need tidying up and the board. I'm going to give a good scrub with uh, IPA. So hopefully we can test it out and uh, 
see if it works and if it works buy a new case and uh, mount it up outside so next part clean giving the board a good clean I somehow managed to lose all the video on the cleaning of the board and some testing I did manage to find some faults of which I'll uh, I'll show you the main fault in a minute and I took a lot of measurements of the case and searched for hours and hours or maybe a day or so on the internet looking for a new case and in the end I found the exact case that the manufacturer unit had used in the in its construction all right, we've got a meter in. Now the strange thing you'll see is that the voltage across the switch in the capacitor is moving about a bit. If I put it to this side, eleven point nine six twelve volts. Back to this side, eight point two nine. Now that's strange, isn't it? There's just a capacitor across that switch in series with the relay so why is the capacitor why is there a voltage across the capacitor and this is what was happening in the unit that the relay was fine it was off now when the unit is working it cycles through all the relays looking for a match on the signal path through all the relays as it changes the capacitance and the inductance via the relays and of course what would happen was it would turn this relay on and then if it didn't find the right match it would turn it off and go off and do another relay watch what happens here I press the button which is the same as the act of turning the relay on let go of the button relay stays on but the buttons not pressed anymore now if I break the power turns off back on again nothing press the button relay stays on and that's because the resistance of the capacitor is that is that just the right value that when the 12 volts is applied there isn't enough current flowing to pull the relay in the, pull, the relay needs a higher current to pull in than it does to hold and so the current flowing through that capacitor at the moment which you can calculate with uh, the voltage across it is you know is, is now enough to hold that relay in that was a strange fault well, i replaced that capacitor but that one is in series with that one and in parallel with those those it's a serious parallel to get the voltage rating up that one had died and gone resistive sorry about that noise that's the water pump coming on i'm going to replace those three as well thinking that if that one's gone the chances are that they not might not be any good so let's get those out Going to replace them with these 100 puff 3kv ceramics a bits box chomp through the legs and then for reliability once I've chomped through the legs I like to refresh the solder on them it covers up the end of the uh, wire it covers up the end of the wire that you've cut but also any vibration that has jarred its way through that could damage the joint has gone you can tell I've cleaned my teeth today it's looking a bit grim Right, here we go. That one's a bit tall. Big dab on there. That'll do. Well, folks, that wraps up about part one. Part two will be putting it in the new box, and possibly part three will be 
trying it out on the air. So if you like what you see, you know, hit the subscribe, hit that little notification bell, like, share, comment the hell out of it. I'll see you on the next one.